So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a charcoal drawing. I'm going to be trying out some new charcoal pencils that I found. I have been, um, I have tested them out and just seen whether they are really going to work for me. These are the Montmartre colored charcoal pencils. Um, if you remember my previous videos, I've worked with the Derwent uh, charcoal uh, pencils as well as the sticks. So this was a new brand I came across when I was doing my uh, shopping at one of my local craft stores and I just happened to come across this um, set and I know Montmartre I do use a lot of their products so I said let me give the colored charcoal pencils a try because I have worked with uh, the Derwent um, regular charcoal pencils as well as the Derwent uh, tinted charcoal so um, I have tried these out already um, and there is the sorry this is just a scrap piece of paper that I tried them out on just to see how they all go because they are two of each pencil there is a SMH and then there's the sepia and then there's the uh, sanguine, I think. Sang sang sanguine, yeah, I think I'm pronouncing that correct, hopefully. And then, well, there's a soft, medium and hard. That's the SMH and then um, the sepia and the sanguine. So um, what I did notice about these pencils is that when you apply them, they can get really fine lines as well as you can go thicker if you do thicker, uh, thicker um, layers. However, if you do try to blend them, like regular charcoal has a lot of dust and there's a lot of um, residue left, which to an advantage, sometimes you can use it for um, blending and adding different uh, tones and shades on your uh, drawing. But this one doesn't blend so well. So if you look now, it doesn't blend so well. But in a way, that's also good because then you're not going to, it's sort of like a color pencil, but it has a slight bit of blending. So um, it's not as... Um, soft or as uh, dusty as the regular charcoal pencils uh, that I normally use. So I'm going to try them out and see. Maybe once I'm working on the actual charcoal paper, I will be able to blend a bit more. But in a way, it's good and bad that it doesn't blend too much because sometimes you don't want over limit of dust and you don't want too much of blending where you lose your sharpness of the lines. And uh, this one seems to, from this little test that I did here, it does seem that it has, um, it holds fine lines quite well. I mean, if you see, if I try to blend them, whether it's the black or the color ones, it doesn't really blend much. You can see the smears around them. There's not much because I tried to blend them already when I was doing this test. And there's not much that's actually happening with this. So, uh, or like blending or, or dust that's coming out. There's not really any residue. However, I did find that when I was working with these pencils, um, this could be just a faulty pack that could have had a pencil that maybe the pack fell down in the store or something like that and the, the cores got uh, damaged but um, they come with, as I said, two uh, sets of each color and you can see there's um, these are not sharpened. They don't come pre-sharpened. You have to sharpen them and that's not really a problem. Um, only thing is that, as I said, the set may have been a, a faulty pencil with the one color this is the um, sepia one and I did notice that this one did have um, like the nub did break when I was sharpening so the core did have some uh, problems with it where it kept on breaking that's why this one is so much shorter than the others um, however I did uh, try using it uh, it did break quite badly on the tip but anyway I'm going to still use them now and try to work with them so I'm just going to take the set that I sharpened already and I'm going to use that to do a um, a, a portrait of the eagle portrait that I'm going to do today and we'll see how these pencils uh, fare in that because there are um, lots of or there is there are some colors in this one so it's not going to be completely gray and black there's going to be some browns too so let's see if I'm able to achieve a drawing with these pencils but uh, like I said this one was broken but it could be the others sharpened perfectly fine so I think this may have been just a problem with this one pencil um, maybe with the manufacturing problem or manufacturing defect maybe or maybe it could be the set fell and this was one of the weaker pencils and the core um, had a bit of a problem with the tip I'm not sure um, whether it's going to do that right down the pencil I don't know because I have only sharpened it once so yeah let's see what how this goes and uh, see if we can do some in the, or do a portrait and see how that comes out and I do have uh, the paper that I'm using is the uh, Prime Art multimedia pad. Um, I use this for my charcoal drawings so I'm going to be using this now. It has a bit of, it's a thicker paper but it has a bit of tooth but very light uh, amount of tooth. It doesn't, it's not smooth, it's not rough, it has just a perfect amount of tooth for me to uh, layer in the charcoal and for it to grip the charcoal. So let's get started with the drawing. HP pencil and I'm just going to do the entire sketch for the um, eagle. Now I have done a sketch of this eagle already. Um, 
it was just a quick sketch that I was just sitting on the couch and doing the sketch so I've already have done a quick sketch as you can see this is the quick sketch that I did so I'm just going to be doing this again onto the paper and then just having redrawing it onto the charcoal paper or the paper that I'm using for the charcoal drawing and then we're going to see how that uh, looks when we are done with the charcoal if it really um, looks good and if the pencils what kind um, results I get from these pencils. Okay, so starting off, I'm just going to do a loose drawing just of the outline. With all my drawings, I start off very uh, light, but at the same time, I also keep it um, simple, um, nothing complicated, just to get an idea of where everything goes. Now, you could use um, any method that works for you for getting the image on, or whether you're using a projector or whether you want to use maybe a, um, you want to trace the image out or if you want to uh, maybe even try to use a transfer paper and get the image on. Whichever method you use, grid method, um, there's so many different ways for you to get the uh, drawing onto your paper. And remember, if you do trace it, that's not a cheating. I don't think that's cheating. Um, if you are having difficulty getting the image onto your drawing paper, you by all means use whatever method works for you. Because this is only part of it. Um, this is only part of the drawing process. It's not um, the entire... Your entire drawing is not going to only be uh, on this part. You're going to have um, a lot more work to do for this drawing. So it's not that you're just going to be drawing, um, doing this illustration or do the sketch and then it's done. Um, this is just to get it, get you an idea of the placement of the different sections of the of the piece, as well as just to um, have the correct proportions. It's always um, good to practice to learn to freehand, but if you just want to get into the drawing and or if you're having a hard time getting the um, sketch in then by all means use whatever method works for you and get that drawing in as I said it's not um, a problem however you use it a lot of artists use um, the a projector which makes it so much easy to, easier to get the image onto your um, canvas or onto your um, paper it, it keeps the paper clean as well um, even if you want to do a rough sketch and you do the sketch on a separate piece of paper like Perhaps if I wanted to use this one here, I could use the sketch and then use transfer paper to get it onto my paper so that I did all the initial erasing and, and correcting all the proportions on that paper and I didn't damage my main paper. So you can do that as well. Many artists do that as well just to prevent having any um, lines coming in from the uh, initial sketching stage of the uh, or sketching initial stage of uh, sketching this, the, doing the initial sketch. Yeah, I said sketch too many times, eh? but <laughs> yes. So now I'm just getting in now. I have already, as I said, I've already drawn this eagle. It was a very rough sketch, but it already gave me an idea of the uh, angles and of all the the eye and the placement, everything. So I'm not saying that it's going to be perfect. It may obviously not be the same uh, as that one because I'm drawing it freehand. But as long as it looks like an eagle. That's all that matters because I'm not too concerned about it being, um, I'm not too concerned with it being 100% accurate, but you have to have the placement correct and you got to have your, um, basically the proportions correct and the position of the eye and the beak because if you don't, uh, it could look like he has a very long beak or it could be that he has a too short beak, which we will come to as I'm working on it. I will be able to determine if I need to do any adjustments. So when you're doing any of your drawings, just bear that in mind. Just look at your piece and see how you are progressing with it and whether you think it needs any uh, changes or if it needs any um, thing to be added to it or if you think something maybe you missed out that you should have included. Just look at all of that when you are working on a piece like this or any, any of your artwork, whatever artwork you are working on. Just keep that in mind when you are working. 
that it could be possibly uh, you may need to adjust certain things like I said drawing is something I've, I've said this in my videos before uh, drawing is something that takes time so don't be too hard on yourself and try to get it right in the first go um, it takes time and you need to be patient um, and you also need to just take your take your time in developing your piece, getting the drawings, the drawing right, getting this. The initial stage is very important, uh, the sketching stage, because your initial drawing is what's going to guide your entire piece. So whether you're doing a painting, whether you're using charcoal, color pencil, marker, whatever medium you choose to use, you need to make sure that you are using the correct using the correct proportions and the accurate proportions otherwise your drawing can look um, odd and certain things may look even very um, not it may look like it's not complete or it may look like it's um, like if you look at the nose on uh, this uh, or the beak of the of uh, this eagle I can see clearly that the beak is a bit too short so I'm going to have to take it a bit out and that's as simple as that. That's just an observation that you need to do as an artist. Uh, we work with observation and what looking at our reference photos. Um, that's another thing I want to mention. Reference photos, feel free to use them. There's no harm in using reference photos. Um, most artists use reference photos if you want your work to really look um, realistic and you want it to look good then you would have um, then you can um, obviously you want to spend more time on your drawings and you want it to look really good so yeah just bear that in mind the reference photos are very helpful uh, you don't have to copy the reference exactly as it is but it is good to use a reference I use references for all of my drawings uh, because I just think it gives me a more accurate picture of what I want to draw or what I want to uh, sketch and it helps me to have better proportions uh, because from memory we won't remember everything about um, an animal or an anatomy of an animal so the grey flowers I'm going to use some of the medium grey just to get in some of those areas just to get in some of the shadow areas not going too dark with the black, I'm just using the, um, just going to use the, this one just to get that. We will go in with the brown later. Um, yeah, and then I'm just going to and you could make these sharper but uh, they're working fine like this, so I'm not going to go too sharp with them. And yeah, this part's going to be much darker. So I think we're going to go with the black. And this is the soft. I'm going to just try to get some of these line works or the line work in here. Um, this is the darkest area, so I'm going to just try to get some of that line work in there. Like I said, this takes a lot of uh, patience and takes time, so don't rush the process. Go as you find comfortable or at the speed that you find comfortable. There's no need to rush um, with a piece like this. You just want to take it easy and slowly develop your image. Now, as I said, this is not going to be exactly like the, the reference because I am using colors that are not going to have some of those. Um, I mean, the colors I'm using, they are lacking some of those yellows and golden yellow colors that are in the reference. But it's enough for me to get the image to look realistic and to look 
like the eagle. Okay, so you can see I'm gonna go in with some of Okay, so I've sharpened it first with a knife. I'm a bit afraid to go too much because it may break. It may even break when I go on to use it, but yeah, this one could be a faulty pencil because I can see that a core could have been that the set fell and the pencils came out of the, the box uh, when they fell, so they caused um, the core to... Charcoal is very brittle, so it could be that the pencil fell and the core got damaged and that's what caused, or that's what's causing it to break um, so much. I'm not sure, but yeah, let's see if I can try to use this. Okay, now you can use it. Um, you just got to be very, very, very gentle with it. So for my final thoughts on these pencils, for me I think these pencils are quite good pencils. They have a lot of pros to them uh, rather than cons. Um, the one good thing about them, they're not very messy. Um, they don't have a lot of dust residue. A lot of artists don't like uh, using charcoal because they're very messy, they're very dusty. There's not a lot of residue on uh, when using these pencils. Uh, as you can see my hands got barely any charcoal on them and I didn't have to have a wet paper towel as I'm working to keep wiping my hands on. Um, I didn't have a problem with smudging on the drawing. As you can see, the entire drawing, there's barely any smudging on it. So that was a good point. Um, another thing is that they do erase well. I mean, if you do need to erase, use a regular eraser, it's fine. Um, you can even brush it off with a brush lightly and dust off all the erasings and it doesn't smudge the drawing and it stays intact. That's a good thing as well. Um, blending also, it can blend quite well. You can layer in the charcoal and then use a paper stamp or you can use for more subtle blending, you can use a brush and it blends well. Um, the only thing is that it does have a bit of the white showing through, but that could be because I didn't add too many layers. Maybe you need to add more layers of uh, the charcoal pencil before blending to get all of that covered. But usually with charcoal, um, I do know that if you do use charcoal, you can just put a few lines and strokes and then you can just use a brush or a paper stamp and you can smear it over and it'll cover the complete uh, background. Um, these ones, I think because they're not so smart, they don't smudge much, so I think that's why um, it didn't cover as much. So maybe you need more layers before you can cover the entire background um, or the white of the paper. 
but generally they're good pencils. They also hold a lot of detail. So I've used the pencils and I've done a lot of detail for these feathers over here where you see the individual lines of the feathers and I blended over with a blending stump. And even though I went over with the blending stump and blended everything together, they still retained the, um, I mean, you can see even if I'm blending now, they still retain some of those details. They're not losing those details that are added there. So that's another good point about these pencils that they do retain a lot of the details. Um, and uh, that's another good point about them. Another thing is that they are very, uh, they look very nice, these pencils. Um, they look appealing and make you want to use them because if you can look at them, um, they look really nice with the gold writing. Um, you can see, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a gold writing. It has colored charcoal and it's got the color like it says black soft and it's got white and then you've got Montmartre written in gold on the ends of the pencil with the color at the end as well. So this is definitely, um, they look really nice to use. Um, the only thing that I found I don't, I wasn't happy with with the set was this one particular pencil because this pencil is the sepia one and the, this was one pencil that kept on breaking. Uh, no matter what sharpener I used, whether I used a knife, it kept crumbling. Uh, like I said, there was not much residue or dust with these drawings. Even my drawing board, it's, it's at an angle, but there's no much dust on it. The main thing that's on the bottom of the drawing board is the crumbles or the crumbs of these of this particular pencil. I didn't have that issue with any of the other pencils, but this is the only one that kept on breaking. Um, it's very brittle and kept on breaking. Even as I was drawing, it just kept crumbling and even sharpening was just crumbling. So I don't know what the issue is. It's only with this one pencil. I never had the issue with the other pencils. All of them were sharpened and they fine and I drew them, pressed, pressed down with them with a little bit of pressure and nothing happened to them. So I don't know what it is with this one pencil. As you can see, it's much shorter than the others because it kept breaking. And yeah, I, I don't know what the issue with that pencil is. Um, however, I did drop one of these down. Um, this one, I think, one of these. I dropped them down um, on the floor, on a tile floor, but nothing happened to them. The tips remained intact. Uh, as you can see, they're fine. Um, they never the break. They didn't crack. Nothing happened to them. So um, I don't know what's it with this pencil, but nothing happened to the others. I didn't have the issue with the, the other pencils. Um, another thing that's a little annoying is that they come unsharpened and you can see they come with two colors of two of each color and that's a good thing because it comes with two of each of them but I'm not too happy about it not being sharpened and that's just a personal preference uh, maybe it doesn't bother you to sharpen the pencils but I think a set that comes should be pre-sharpened I think it makes it look more appealing and more like ready to just dive into a piece and start creating um, so that was a bit annoying that I had to sharpen them before I started using them but uh, besides that, there was no real issues with these pencils, except for this one that was breaking all the time and me having to sharpen them. Um, and obviously the white not getting covered, which I said could be um, a problem with uh, me not adding enough layers. I'm not sure, but um, usually charcoal, you don't need to add a lot of layers to get blending or to get the background covered. But like I said, this one doesn't smudge much, so these pencils, so it could be that could be the reason why they didn't um, cover the background properly. But um, for quick illustrations, it's fine. So I will be basically using these for quick illustrations, studies, uh, some practice drawings, uh, maybe even some planning for my other drawings and paintings and things like that. Uh, that's what I will be using it for, something quick. And I mean, even this was a quick drawing. I didn't take a lot of time with it. It was a quick drawing. But I think that's what I will be using these pencils for, um, just quick things that I need to draw. My more detailed uh, finished pieces I'll be using my regular pencils for, but um, just, uh, they're not, they bad. I mean, they, they're good pencils and they're affordable, they're reasonably priced and uh, you get two of each color. So definitely to add a bit of hint to your drawing, your charcoal drawing, you have a bit of hint of color. That's a good point about that. And that's what made me actually pick these up to try them out. So yeah, definitely um, if you wanna have a try and work with them, you can. Like I said, I'll be using them for quick drawings and illustrations, practices, studies, those kind of things. Finished pieces, I may use my, or most probably will use my regular pen, uh, charcoal pencils and my charcoal. But um, all in all, they're good pencils and I did enjoy using them except for the one that kept breaking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's my final words on this particular set of pencils. So I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to like and share. Feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Till the next one. Bye.